game mode. Unlock additional performance on your Linux PC. In this video, we're going to go over game mode. And what it does is it releases all the governors on your CPU, allowing it to reach its full potential. Now this is great for games, but it also can work in other applications as well. Now there are two cautions I'm going to bring up. One is laptops. If you're running a laptop on battery power, you really don't want to be running game mode while you're running on battery. While it's plugged in, it's fine, but it's going to drain your battery faster because it releases all the power saving functions of your CPU. And the other one is make sure you have adequate cooling because this is going to generate a little bit of extra heat with your CPU. So let's go ahead and let's jump over to the desktop and I'm going to show you game mode. Okay, first we're going to go over the install process of game mode. Now, you can go ahead and uh, go into your terminal and type in sudo apt install game mode and your password. It is in the Debian repositories, the Ubuntu repositories. However, this is a really old version. Uh, this is really, um, if you're going to run this, there's a different process to call on game mode other than the command I'm going to show you. I'm gonna, Chris Titus did a great video on that. I'm going to link that up there. I'm also going to make a note later in a second. But really what I would suggest you do is go ahead and go to the game mode GitHub. And uh, follow the instructions here. Really, all it is is you go ahead and you run this command right here to install the dependencies. You may need this too. If you need it, it'll tell you. And then you just basically just follow these instructions here. You can just copy and paste this into the terminal. And it'll build, it's all scripted out for you. It's as simple as that. Also, if you're running Ubuntu, this is what I would suggest. There is a PPA. Just add this PPA and install it, and you'll be installing the latest version. I will also link this and the GitHub in the description. So, now how do you use game mode? Well, we're going to cover that in a second. So, using game mode is just as simple as using game mode run. And then, and then whatever program you're going to run. I'm just going to bring up K-Mines. I know it's not necessary for this game, but there we go. And now, how you verify is you bring up a terminal and write game mo moded dash S. All right. Now it says it's active. That's how you know it's active. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit exit. And exit out of this. I'm going to go ahead and kill this. Alright. Now. Now that I've exited that. I go game. Moded. Dash, uh, dash S again. Now it says it's inactive. That's how you can verify it. Now this is how you run it from the terminal. Now. How you run it from. Uh. A desktop icon is you go. I'm going to go ahead and do this in Cinnamon, but you can do this in any um, in any uh, desktop environment. But you go ahead and open up your menu editor right here. Uh, come on, and then you go ahead. Let's just go ahead and hit a game, and uh, let's go ahead and just choose five or more. You can go ahead and change the properties and go ahead and hit in the command right here. You can type game mode run space and then alter it. 
Now, now all I have to do is close it. Start up. Five or more. And as you can see, it's active. Next, we're going to go over Steam. You can also do this on your Steam games um, inside of Steam. The way you do this is you right click on your game, type properties, set launch options, and in this you type in game mode run no surprise there but there's an extra step percent sign command percent now this is very important this percent command percent if you do not include this it will not work very important okay then you hit close now you just start your game now now you go ahead and you open up your terminal and type in game mode mid dash s again as you can see it's active and that is all you can also use game mode inside of luchas you do this for a single game by right clicking on the game clicking configure right here going to system options Scrolling down to the command prefix and typing in, of course, game mode run and clicking save. Then you open the game and it'll run in game mode. Now, also, you can also alter the settings of all the games by hitting preferences up here for the system for the, and this will apply it to all of them by doing the same thing in this wait what am i doing game mode run run man if i can type correctly save and now i open up another game And see, now I wouldn't necessarily recommend this, but it is an option. Now that was game mode in Linux. Now this particular application can be used for all sorts of other applications. Um, I use it on my video editors. I usually use it on OBS, as you can see in part of the movie. Uh, you saw that little pop-up that said I overloaded the encoder on OBS. Uh, I believe it was on the Steam section. Um, that's because I usually run OBS on inside of game mode when I record. But of course I couldn't do that to demonstrate how to check statuses and stuff. And it really was giving me a big hard time on this. But um, that was game mode. But you can use it on your video editors. Any high CPU um activity multi-threaded it'll work and it'll increase your performance on it so you don't have to just use it for a game you can use it for anything well thank you for watching the penguin revolution and uh, you have a nice day please like share subscribe leave a comment and have a nice day